गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग मीट ऑफ इंडिया निवेश दिस इज मेहुल कोठारी फ्रॉम द रिसर्च डेस्क टूडे इज टेंथ फेब टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वे लास्ट वीक वॉज एनकरेजिंग फॉर द बुल्स एज द डोमेस्टिक मार्केट ब्रश ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीक्स लॉसेज इग्नोरिंग द डिसअपॉइंटमेंट फ्रॉम द यूनियन बजट एंड फ्री इयर्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक द बेंच मार्क इंडेक्स इज रेलिड फॉर फोर कंजिव सेशन ड्यूरिंग द वीक The index Nifty spot ended the week with a gain of around 3.75% while it reached tested 12150 mark whereas Nifty Bank index gained 4.63% during the week and closed above 31000 the market breadth remained in favor of advancing counters during majority of the trading sessions while this indicates that the buying was broad based on the sectoral front none of the group indices ended in negative zone among the gainers Nifty metal index was an outperformer with a gain of over 9% and was followed by Nifty Commodity Index, which surged 6.96% during the week. The market breadth, uh, the ma- broader market indices like Nifty Mid Cap 100 and Nifty Small Cap 100 ended with a gain of 4.83 to 3.14% respectively. Now for the week after the rally, uh, during the last week we witnessed that after a rally of four sessions on Friday, Nifty breached the previous day's low. This is the first sign of weakness. so one can look for selling nifty below 12070 in spot the stop loss will be 12150 in spot target on the downside could be 11950 to 11900 the upside could resume once again only about 12160 mark so about 12160 nifty has a potential to reach 12300 With regards to Bank Nifty, fresh longs could be uh, made only about thirty-one thousand five hundred in spot. On the downside, the intermediate support is at thirty-one thousand one hundred. Below that, more weakness could be seen towards thirty thousand eight hundred to thirty thousand six hundred. On the sectoral front, we are expecting a minor bounce of around two to four percent in PSU Bank stocks because Nifty PSU Bank index has been turning from a crucial support. So one can look forward to stocks like uh, Can Bank, PNB, Bank of Baroda. SBI has already run up, so one can look to buy that on dips. But uh, the pullback is expected only for two to four percent, nothing major uh, beyond that. With regards to stock, one can look uh, forward to sell SGFC Limited for the week. Uh, in buy one can look forward to uh, buy mcdowell nippon and hudco on dips for the week uh, we expect some kind of uh, profit taking in metal stocks also because previously we were bullish on metal stocks like uh, tata steel and vdl and also hindalgo which we covered during the week uh, now we expect that the pullback is over in metal stocks so further selling could be seen in metal stocks so one can avoid buying metal stocks as of now so that's it on the technical front i'll hand it over to mr dharmesh khan thank you very much everyone Yeah, good morning, all. Uh, there was a slow profit taking last Friday across the global markets, be it US, European, or Asian indices. This morning, Asian indices are trading with a cut, and the factor which is you know driving every you know profit taking is uh, coronavirus uh, outbreak. Uh, the debt toll is now above 900, and the uh, reported cases have been above 40,000. There's already been an orange alert in uh, Hong Kong, and uh, anecdotally, if you see. Uh, this uh, number seems to be underreported almost you know every major economies are facing uh, a supply cut from the china at the same time supplies to china is also getting impacted because of this virus thing most of the mode of communications has been you know uh, cut short and uh, there's hardly any uh, transportation or communication happening uh, happening from china so uh, this is the reason and uh, people are still factoring in the type of uh, economic uh, induced slowdown may happen uh, because of this uh, foxconn is a company which you know assembles iphone uh, for uh, apple and uh, basically they are in indonesia thailand and china china factories have already been shut down from today so there would be a supply dis- uh, disruption for iphones as well so there are different segments chemicals uh, metals Uh, electronic gadgets and equipment all and automobile uh, parts uh, will be impacted because of uh, this so people are still factoring in and uh, they this may lead to profit taking back home nifty showed some weakness on the last trading uh, session on friday however the breadth was not uh, very bad at the same time there was always resilience to go down this morning again sgx nifty do pointed to a weak start but has recovered quite a bit from the uh, opening lows uh, 
so we have to see how the things play out my own sense is that uh, for a couple of weeks there will be volatility in the market and the range bound trading activity will happen in the headline indices maybe a sideways consolidation with say 150 points on the downside and 150-200 points on the upside. So 12,200 will play out as a upper band of the Nifty. On the lower side, the uh, extension may be to 11,800 kind of a zone where it may correct. Uh, in this, you know, volatility, one has to still be a buyer on declines and. Uh, the sectors uh, which look good are cyclical sectors like cement uh, looks uh, pretty attractive if there is a decline. Select auto names like Maruti, Aura, M&M, uh, Leland, or Scots if they decline where they can be uh, bought into. And financials uh, always looks uh, attractive because the numbers on the ground has uh, definitely improved for financials. So there's a positive takeaway, particularly public sector banks may benefit after the recent RBI policy measures which they have accounted. In the short term, they may not be conducive for the banks, but in the long term, uh, that will entail more business for them. And market always, you know, discounts the future. So that may again trigger a buying thing. Uh, but one has to wait and uh, watch and be very selective, be nimble footed and uh, play technicals on a strict stop loss kind of a scenario. That is all for the day. Have a nice day. Happy trading. Good day.